was that kid growing up in elementary school, sitting with my sketchbook up against a brick wall. That, that was how people knew me, and that's what people came to associate me with was, was art. Gary's the artist. Uh, I was lucky enough to attend uh, Corbin College of Art and Design in D.C. Uh, it's a very traditional art school in the sense that it, it even is an uh, art museum and the classrooms are really just the basement of the gallery itself. Cartoons and comic books growing up were definitely the, the major influence for me. Um, the, the, dynamic images of comic books and the rich colors and the story that they told as well, but more so just the art itself. It was art that was accessible to me. Um, I didn't have to know why this person was holding an umbrella on some beach somewhere. I knew that was Spider-Man, I knew that was Wolverine, and I knew why they were there, why they had that emotion, why they were in that action. And that was that was enough for me and it was so well done, so so powerful, so just really, really dynamic and, and just captured my imagination as a kid. Noticed more that I was making friends outside of the college who were making music. Um, rappers like Kanan Man 187 and I noticed that we could talk about two totally different forms of art with the same type of knowledge, like he could tell me something that helped him write a song that's going to help me look at things a different way when I'm doing a design or I'm doing a painting. And, and rightfully so, I, I gave him ways to think about his art in order to further his, his lyrics. I love music to death and I, I listen to all different types, mainly hip-hop. Hip-hop grabbed me at an early age. Um, one of the most influential albums that I ever got was actually one of my, my first CD was Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style. It's probably part of the reason I ended up in LA. But um, it was almost almost a jealousy. There was a way of storytelling through this music and, and interacting with the listener that was so much so clear, so much more well developed than I feel my own art was. And that's something that I still struggle with in myself. Like, what is the story that I'm telling you?